What's up gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to be breaking down how we like to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the St. Louis Rams playbook. Now, uh, I'm sorry about the lateness of this video. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of computer problems. I ended up recording like a five-hour video on accident. I didn't even mean to do that. And unfortunately, it just set me back really hardcore because uh, it took so long to record that video. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to get back on the train. We're going to post two Scheme of the Week videos. So be on the lookout for that. So you guys, if you want to catch up with the St. Louis scheme, we're going to be catching up today. And today's man beater comes from the shotgun bunch week formation. Now, uh, we talked about the tight doubles as our running set, and that is a really good quick pass formation. Uh, it can do a lot of things from there. Uh, as well, we also talked about the trip tight end, as I've been talking about how I've been using it in Madden Ultimate Team and how it's a really good uh, formation. It's really a powerful base formation, in my opinion. And uh, why not talk about yet another trip set, the shotgun bunch? Now, we've talked about it a lot already, and uh, we, we're gonna, we could break down Z Spot. That's a pretty easy one. We've already talked about that a lot, but for today's video, I want to break down uh, the uh, PA post and why I like this as a nice little man beater, uh, as well as a nice little two high safety beater. So, pretty much all we want to do for this uh, PA post play here is we want to take Tony Gonzalez, we want to put him on a little in route or slant route. You can do whatever you want. I like the in route personally. We're going to take then Steven Jackson here, we're going to put him on a streak route. And then we're going to uh, leave Roddy White on that little angled route and the other two receivers on the right as well on their angled routes. Now the first read on this play is to diagnose quickly is going to be uh, Tony Gonzalez coming across the middle. You see this is really effective against man. Just a quick little hit. Let me show you the difference between the slant and the in route. So here we'll put him on a slant. And you see he gets uh, in the way of the uh, deep streak there by Jackson. That's why I like to put him on an in route. Um, even though the slant beats man a little bit better, I think the in route just works better for the play. Um, our second read here is actually going to be... Um, Coming across here, our second read is going to be Steven Jackson as he cuts to the inside. You see, we could pass lead inside all day. And Steven Jackson is one of the more underrated running backs in Madden 25. Our third read here coming across is going to be this unbumpable C route to Roddy White. A lot of people have not been throwing C routes. They have not been throwing comeback routes uh, and things like that because of the power of the out route. But here you see, once again, this is just yet another example of something we can use to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And it is an unbumpable route, which means we're going to have the same timing every time. Here I shade outside, and you see that I can still fit it in pretty good against man-to-man -man coverage, which makes it even better than an out route or a comeback. Our third read here coming across is this deep, deep post route to Harry Douglas. I, I apologize. It's actually our fourth read. Uh, but you see that it does a really good job at beating man-to-man. -man. And typically that route will not be pressed. Sometimes they will actually manually press. And you see here it will actually, it can be manually pressed. But you can still, you can still click on and make that user catch. So you see it's not too big of a deal. Um, and then thirdly, our last read here is an unbumpable route here to Julio Jones coming across the middle. And it's probably my favorite route in the game. It's been my favorite route for years. Uh, I like this route in Madden 13. And I really like it this year as well. Uh, it just does a really good job. There's some things you can do right there. I was trying to uh, see if you could maybe use or catch it. I haven't worked with it as much this year. I've been trying to work a lot more with the spread offense. But this route is just really good. Now, when you motion snap it, let's just take a look here. You see when you motion snap it, it's even uh, interesting, even more interesting than it was before uh, because it just has that little shape uh, feature in it that I really like. It's a nice little delay route that you can get unpumpable and it just does a really nice job at sitting in some weak spots of the zones. And when I show you uh, here, cover two sink here, this is a zone that you're going to see called in combination with two men under. And our first read here does a really good job at beating the cover two sink. Tony Gonzalez, he's just going to be a quick little hit against the cover two sink. Typically can run for about 10 yards afterwards. Our second read here uh, is not as uh, as powerful against cover to sink. You see the, the yellow actually jumps that better. Uh, but what it does serve as is it serves as a nice little vertical stretch so that we can get the ball to the Harry Douglases and Tony Gonzalez and Julio Joneses of the world. Our fourth read, or excuse me, our third read here is not really that effective. As you see, you can click on and user catch it. But other than that, it really isn't that powerful. Some people like to pass lead this up once they see the cover two. And you see that is an option, but it's still not a very good look. And so I just like to say that you don't want to throw that C route unless it's man-to-man -man defense. Uh, because against the cover two, it just isn't that effective. This deep post route also, you can still user catch that. But again, if you saw what I saw there, it's just not a great look. Um, so we want to keep on through the progression here. But so far, our, our Tony Gonzalez route 
our Harry Douglas route, and then, but the one I really want to talk about is this Julio Jones route. Does a phenomenal job at sitting underneath against like, the zone, especially the cover two zone. And uh, let's take a look at this one more time here. And even if you want to motion snap it, get a little motion going, make it go a little faster. But it just really does. I like the way it sits down underneath the zone, and it's just kind of like that route that you're just. It's just a frustrating route to have to defend, in my opinion, uh, just because it's just a it's just a slow slow death. And as you see here, it's just a very consistent route, and I really like that to beat the cover two zone. So today's video, we covered how I like to beat man from the St. Louis Rams formation. We also covered a little bit about uh, some times where you maybe see zone and man at the same time. So I wanted to cover both of those for you. And then uh, in closing here, guys, I just want to quickly recommend you uh, a video that I was watching about Madden 15 and some gameplay footage. So if you guys like the gameplay footage from Madden 15, check it out below. And uh, some pretty good stuff there. And I'll be talking about that as the week goes on so be sure to check that out and if you haven't already guys hit that subscribe button and let me know that you like my content thanks a lot guys I really appreciate the time and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon